Hello, I'm Patty Simpson, and today I'm going to continue our lecture on function notation. Here I'm going to do an example using a quadratic function. And we're going to evaluate this function using this function notation where x equals negative 2. So remember, all this notation means is that here I have the x value and I'm looking for that y value. And the way I'm going to do that is just substitute this x value into my quadratic uh, function. So everywhere I see one of those x's, I'm just going to write parentheses. And then I'm going to fill in for that x with my x value of negative 2. Now it's just a matter of doing the arithmetic. Remember, with our order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we first look at parentheses, but there's nothing inside the parentheses to take care of here. So then we move on to exponents. Here we have an exponent. We need to do that first. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's what this squared means. So negative 2 times negative 2 gives me a positive 4. I'll leave everything else the same. Then after I've taken care of my exponents, then I look at multiplication or division, whichever one comes first from left to right. Here all I have is multiplication, so I'm going to go ahead and do this multiplication. Negative, four, negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. 3 times negative 2 gives me a negative 6. And last but not least, using those order of operations, I add or subtract. So here I'm, I'm going to add these numbers together. Negative 8 and a negative 6 is a negative 14. And a negative 1 gives me a negative 15. So what I've just found is that there's a point on this quadratic function at negative 2, negative 15. Okay, we're going to do another one. This time we're going to evaluate the function or find our y value when x is 1 third. So again, all I'm doing is substituting this x value into my quadratic function. So everywhere I see an x, I'm just going to put this one-third. And now, um, again, it's just arithmetic, and I have to remember those order of operations. I need to square this first. Remember that that squaring just means I'm multiplying this times itself. Let me write it out to show you just kind of visually what that means. It just means I'm multiplying one-third times one-third. And remember that what that is, when I'm multiplying fractions, I just multiply straight across. The top times the top, and the bottom times the bottom. So that I would end up with one times one gives me one, and three times three gives me nine. Next, I'm going to do the multiplication. So this negative 2 times 1 ninth, again, when I'm multiplying with fractions, I just multiply straight across, numerator times numerator, denominator, which in this case is a 1 times denominator, so that I end up with negative 2 ninths, plus here I'm going to multiply straight across, so that I end up with 3 over 3, but 3 over 3 is just equal to 1. Here, I'll go ahead and write it out for you, so you can see. But you see that 3 divided by 3 is just equal to 1. So we could simplify that and just simply make it 1. Then when I add these together, these whole numbers I could go ahead and add together, and 1 minus 1 gives me 0, it just leaves me with this negative 2 ninths. So we have found a point on the quadratic function at one-third, negative two-ninths. One last one I'm going to do for you. This time I have an algebraic expression uh, in place of that x value. 
So our, L, our x value this time is represented with an algebraic expression. But we handle it the exact same way. We just substitute it in everywhere I see an x in my quadratic function. So I'm going to do the same thing where I just write my parentheses everywhere I see an x. So instead of writing the x's from my quadratic function, I just put parentheses. Now I'm going to take these and just fill them in, substitute them in. This x plus 2, I'm going to fill in to each one of those places. And again, I need to follow my order of operations. I, I would like to take care of inside the parentheses, but I can't. x and x plus 2, I can't add those because they're not like terms. So instead, I'm going to do the exponent first. And just like before, I'm going to go ahead and write it out so that we can see what we're dealing with. We know that this x plus 2 squared means that I'm just multiplying that by itself. So I'm just going to write it out so we can see that. Now, when I do this multiplication, remember I'm going to use that distributive property. Or some of you may remember the acronym FOIL to help you. All we're doing is distributing. We're going to take this x times that x, or our first times the first, so that we end up with x squared. Then I'm distributing it so this x is going to multiply times that 2. Or in FOIL, the O stands for outside, the outside ones x times 2 gives me 2x. Now I'm going to multiply, the, uh, this x now is multiplied times both of those. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the 2. I'm going to multiply it times both of those, and distribute it to both of those numbers. So I do 2 times x, or the inside for i, and I get 2x. And now I do the last one, this last one times that last one, which gives me 4. Now, everything else stays the same. All I did was that multiplication. So I'm going to write everything else down just the same. Now what I have is um, some parentheses where I can take care of some things inside. Because here I have two like terms. This, x, this 2x and this 2x are alike. They're like terms. So I can add those together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. So I have negative 2, and I've got x squared plus 2x plus 2x gives me 4x plus 4. And then everything else I'm just going to leave the same again. Now just as before, I'm going to take care of my multiplication. So I'm going to multiply. Here though, because there's three ter terms inside of this uh, parentheses, I need to distribute that negative 2 to each one of those. So I'm going to do negative 2 times x squared, negative 2 times the 4x, which gives me negative 8x, negative 2 times the 4, and now I've done this multiplication times that number. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add and I'm going to multiply this times that expression, so I've got 3 times x, which gives me 3x, and then 3 times 2, which is 6. Now I just combine all my like terms so that I have, there's not any other um, uh, variables there with a squared on it. No more x's with a squared. So, But then there, here I have a, a negative 8x and a positive 3x. So when I add those together, I end up with a negative 5x. And then here I have a negative 8 and a 6, which gives me a negative 2. Minus 1 gives me a negative 3. So um, when I evaluate the quadratic at this algebraic expression of x plus 2, I end up with my y value is equal to negative 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is this quadratic. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.